Hi everybody, how are you doing? My name is Tiago, I'm a painter and architect and today we're doing a video about Benjamin Wacombe, a French author and illustrator that was born in Paris in 1982. Let's take some time to look at my t-shirt. So this is a print of a painting I did called The Mermaid and you can get it on my website and on my Instagram. So be sure to check it out. Going back to Benjamin Wacombe, I wanted to tell you this because he had a great impact on my career. It was the first time that I learned that themes like fairy tales could be very much appreciated by everyone and those were my favorite themes. So I started doing those and it was a big thing for me. So I hope that his artwork inspires everyone as it inspired me. And in the beginning, he went to the decorative art school in Paris to start his artistic career. He even did advertisement and commercials, and he also published his first graphic novel at the age of 19. Isn't that amazing? He is inspired by painters from the Quattrocento, the Pre-Raphaelites, and artists like Leonardo da Vinci. You can also see his inspiration in Tim Burton, Guillermo del Toro, and also Walt Disney for those big eyes. You can also see an analogy of his work with the American painter Mark Radin, that I also did a video of him in the previous series, so be sure to check it out. His book, Cherry and Olive, was considered by the Times Magazine the best children's book. He also did a series of short stories by Edgar Allan Poe and his work has been translated, published and exhibited all over the world. He produces a calendar each year with his latest works and as for his technique, he uses a collection of color pencil, gouache that then he glazes over with many layers of oil paint. That's what gives it that color vibrancy and that intensity that we all love so much about his work. Benjamin lives and works in Paris right now. And what I love the most about his work is the way that his characters have all that emotion and you can see that intense shadowing that he puts into that work so that it's so vibrant and so beautiful to look at. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, turn on the comments, or do whatever you like. I'm just happy that you're here to see this video. See you on my next one.